Hey y'all, it is your girl Coley C, better known as that Scuffle Town girl, and you're back in the scuffle with another video. So listen, no matter sick or not, I will minister to you guys because the more and more that I ask the Lord and I speak with the Lord, the more you know the, the Lord will speak through other things. Okay, He will say things, and it'll be like on point if what you just ask Him to say. And, um, so I'm going to be ministering to y'all, period. So, hey y'all, hey, it is your ministering girl, Kalista, and she's bringing the word to you. So, um, listen, I want to talk to you about the man that was possessed on the mountain. Um, and he, no matter, he was, he was possessed with, um, with the devil obviously with demons but when the Lord came around even he even that demon knew who Christ was sorry my phone was ringing but even the demons knew who Jesus was they knew who Christ was and they begged him Whenever he, they knew that he was getting ready to evict them, they, they begged him to send them into the swine, to please send them into something else that was not going to, you know, be, you know what I mean? So even they knew who he was and what the power was that he held, that they even asked permission. Let me tell you something. In the end days, and even leading up to the end days, the Lord says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that I am who I am and who I said I am and who you know who I am. Every. Not maybe this or maybe that. And what was, you know, every. Every. Even Satan was Jesus, was the Lord's, um, was the Lord's angel that fell. And he was so brilliant and he was so smart that he caused other angels to fall with him. He's not dumb. He will play you. He is not dumb. Even watching the guy that I watched here the other day, um, and he had been coming across my page for a while, um, he even said that in between the veil, what he called the veil, in between the passing of going from here to there, when he was, the Lord was, he thought he, well, he was dying, but the Lord, he didn't know the Lord was showing him what he was going to show him and then, you know, bringing him back. But he said, even in the changing, even in, in the going through the curtains, through the veil, he heard an angelic voice and and, and it was so beautiful, and it told him that if he wanted peace and he wanted, he wanted out of pain to quit breathing. But if it wouldn't have been for his quick thinking of who God was, who Jesus was, he knew right then that the Lord was not going to tell him to stop breathing. And that's how clever the devil is when he still trying to get you so watch what you let come around you watch what you interact with watch who you speak to watch who you let pray over you watch who you let speak into you because you very much so could be opening up a portal because like I said even the devil and his minions and his princes, they know who our father is. They know who the creator is. They, they, they begged him. They begged him. They didn't ask him. They didn't say, yeah. they begged him. We know what you're getting ready to do. Please just send us into the swine. Y'all, the devil is out. He's been out. He's been out. He's been doing things. And he has a set prince of his, which is the other angels that fell with him, that he has set just for suicide, depression, marriage, 
and each one of those princes they can have as many demons as they want to carry out the act of helping that prince cause that person to do whatever it is that means the devil has all these fallen angels which is his prince his prince like like they say we're not battling against flesh and prince principality my lips those princes are the are falling angels that fell with him and each one of those have those they can have as many de demons as they need to carry out what needs to be done and just like that preacher's wife that had went through so much of what she went through here the other day and that suicide prince they bombarded her so much they caused her to give her own life but once that happens the devil is just laughing at you he's laughing at you he's making it seem like he is there for you he is there to help you he is there to do what needs to do but in all all facts of the matter uh, he's just wanting you to mess up until you cross over and he's got you and he's gonna laugh in your face but then it's gonna be too 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 late see the the fear is <laughs> the fear is of being with satan and being in hell but the fear to me is that the presence of the Lord will, will no longer be there for you to call on. That's what you should be very, very worried about. The spirit of the Lord, the, the, the presence of Jesus, the presence of, will no longer be there. That's what you should be worried about. I know a lot of you guys are going through things and you feel like you're in the dark. You feel like this and that. Know that you are in a season of being pruned. Just like a farmer picks weeds out of his garden. He's pruning them. He's taking what's what's not good and take it out. And, it's, and, and it might be that it be compost that he could take out but use for something else. And it's just like removing you from a friend. That friend is still there, but it's it's, it's to be be that person that you know and is friends, but not to be a part of your 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 journey at the moment. Because if if it distracts you from what he's trying to do or say, then he can't speak. And a lot of us are still learning. We are. But no, you're not alone. The Lord is omnipresent. He's everywhere at one time. The devil is the only one that can't be everywhere at one time. That's why he has his princes. That's why he has his princes. And those princes have those demons to do what? Just to spread out for him. Don't let them get you. Don't let them have your vote. And when you feel like you're being bothered by, you're just being, the devil's just bothering you, just doing things to you. Be grateful that he is bothering you and messing with you because he does not have your vote. What, Clayista? I should be grateful. Yes, you should be grateful because that means he's still trying to get you. That means you still got a chance and you still got a you still got a chance and you still got time to turn your life around because he still does not have you. You have not given yourself to him. I hope you have a blessed day. And if you're going through something, just know I'm here. Leave a comment, leave a message, leave whatever you need to, to be prayed over. I've got you. I'm coming into this newness. But we got some things coming. Be blessed. Bye.